and welcome. In our lesson today, we are going to discuss two questions regarding harbor process. So this will be a revision of sorts or you can use these questions to test your understanding of the process. Let's start. Question number one. The diagram below shows the various steps in the commercial preparation of ammonia by the harbor process. So we can clearly see that there are two gases being fed into the compressor. We have gas A and gas B. Now, since they haven't specified anything regarding the gases, then the order does not matter. So gas A could be nitrogen or hydrogen. At B, name one source of each of the gases A and B. So nitrogen is obtained from fractional distillation of liquid air. Hydrogen can be obtained from natural gas or from cracking of long chain alkanes. Part C, name a catalyst in the catalytic chamber. So the catalyst that is used for this process is finely divided iron. I would like to point out two things. If you would like to go through the questions yourself, try them out, then kindly pause the video and do so. Number two is that if you want to revisit any of the concepts of the harbor process, please check out my video on this and I'm sure it will help you a lot. Moving on. Part D. Write an equation to show the reaction that takes place in the catalytic chamber. So in this chamber, we are having nitrogen reacting with hydrogen to form ammonia. And there is our reaction. Part D. State two conditions other than use of catalyst that favors the production of ammonia in the harbor process. Condition number one, high pressure. Another condition, low temperature. And that is question one. So this was a bit of a warm up. Now let's tackle, you know, a question that uh, looks a bit more challenging than this. I hope you're ready for this. Oh, look at this monster. Now, I want to tell you this. If you can manage to score even half of this, then you are set. You are good. Now, don't let the diagram or even the questions intimidate you. Just take it bit by bit and you'll be good. Now, let's start. The flowchart below represents the reactions involved in the harbor process for the production of ammonia and preparation of an ammonium compound T. Study the flowchart and answer the questions that follow. Part A. Name the process marked W and the reaction marked 2. Now, if you look at the flowchart, you'll note that there are two reagents labeled X and Y. Now, the only two raw materials for the harbor process are nitrogen and hydrogen. So, it's up to us to determine which is nitrogen and which is hydrogen. So, the question is asking us to identify the process marked W. Now, there's literally very little information that can guide us or that can give us a hint on what reagent X or process W could be. So, let's go to the other side where reagent Y is. Now, reagent Y is produced from crude oil. So, this can only be hydrogen. So, crude oil is one of the main sources of alkanes. Now, long chain alkanes undergo cracking, you know, when they're broken down to form short chain alkanes. This process leads to the production of hydrogen gas. So if reagent Y is hydrogen, that makes X nitrogen. Nitrogen gas is obtained from fractional distillation of liquid air and that is process W. Moving on to B. Identify each of the reagents X and Y. We have already done so. Part C. Explain what happens in the purifier and state its significance. Now in the purifier, the air is filtered in order to remove any dust particles. This is very important so as to avoid poisoning of the catalyst. D. Roman 1. State what happens in the compression chamber. Now, in the compression chamber, the mixture of gases, that of nitrogen and hydrogen gases, are compressed to very high temp uh, pressures of around 200 atmosphere. Part E. State two rows of the heat exchanger. So, role number one of the heat exchanger is that it preheats the incoming gases in order to attain optimum temperatures for the reaction in the catalytic chamber. Role number two is that it cools the ammonia formed in the catalytic chamber. Now, I want to say this. In case you're finding this a little bit confusing, please refer to my video where I discuss this in details. Part F. Name the catalyst used in the catalytic chamber. This, of course, is finely divided iron. Roman 2. State other optimal conditions of temperature and pressure in the catalytic chamber. Now, in terms of temperature, the range is around 450 to 500, but just choose 450 degrees Celsius and you'll be set. Now, in terms of pressure, it's 200 atmosphere.
Roman number three, write an equation for the reaction that occurs in the catalytic chamber. This, of course, is the reaction between nitrogen and hydrogen leading to the formation of ammonia, and it is as such. Give the process that occurs in the condenser. Now, as the name suggests, this condenses the cool ammonia gas into liquid. And that, ladies and gentlemen, brings us to the end of this revision exercise. I hope you've managed to test your understanding of the Haber process. See you next time.